Hello and welcome back to U.S. Military Summary. Today we have an incredibly exciting topic to discuss. Russia's secret development and testing of a $6 billion super stealth aircraft. This aircraft, known as the Mikoyan Project 1.44 or MIG MFI, was designed to compete with the American Lockheed Martin F-22 Raptor as part of Russia's multifunctional frontline fighter program. With supersonic crews, advanced avionics, and an all-moving forward canard plane, the MIG-144 was designed to be a highly advanced and capable fighter jet. Join us as we delve into the details of this incredible aircraft and its impact on the Russian aerospace industry. Russia has secretly developed a super stealth aircraft known as the Mikoyan Project 1.44. This fifth generation jet technology demonstrator was designed to compete with the American Lockheed Martin F-22 Raptor as part of Russia's multifunctional frontline fighter program. The aircraft was deployed by the Mikoyan Design Bureau and features supersonic crews, modern avionics, and an all-moving forward canard plane. It's powered by two Lielka AL-41F afterburning thrust vector turbofan jet engines, generating 175 kn, 39,340 lbf of thrust. The MIG-144 was intended to be a highly advanced and capable fighter jet, incorporating numerous cutting-edge technologies in its design. Its key abilities and features include advanced stealth technologies, speed, and maneuverability. One of the most impressive aspects of the MIG-144 is its advanced stealth technologies, which makes it difficult to detect by radar. It features a blended wing body design, radar absorbent materials, and other measures to reduce its radar cross-section. This makes it an ideal aircraft for carrying out covert operations or engaging in combat scenarios where stealth is essential. The MIG-144 is also designed to be highly agile and fast, with a maximum speed of Mach 2.25 and advanced maneuverability capabilities. Its delta wing design is highly efficient at generating lift, allowing it to fly at high angles of attack and maintain control at low speeds. The aircraft also has thrust vectoring engines, which allow it to control its direction of thrust and achieve very high levels of maneuverability. The MIG-144 is equipped with advanced avionic systems, including an active phased array radar, electronic warfare systems, and a glass cockpit with multifunction displays. This allows the pilot to have real-time access to a wealth of information about the aircraft systems, mission status, and other relevant data. The MIG-144 is designed to carry a wide range of advanced weapons, including air-to-air -air missiles, air-to-ground missiles, and bombs. The exact weapons loadout would depend on the specific mission and operational requirements. It is worth noting that the MIG-144 also has a built-in cannon, which is located on the underside of the fuselage. This cannon is a GSH-31, a 30mm cannon capable of firing up to 1500 rounds per minute. Despite its impressive performance characteristics, the MIG-144 never entered production due to a lack of funding and the collapse of the Soviet Union. Only one prototype was built, and it remains in storage. However, some of the technologies developed for the MIG-144 have been incorporated into other Russian fighter jets, such as the Su-57. The development of the MIG-144 was shrouded in mystery, and the aircraft served as a technological showcase and testbed for future aircraft designs rather than as an actual air superiority fighter prototype. The MIG-144 served purely as a technological showcase and testbed for future aircraft designs, not as an actual air superiority fighter prototype. The exact cost of the MIG-1.44 program is not known, but it is estimated that the development cost was several billion dollars. The development of advanced fighter aircraft such as the MIG-144 involves significant research and development costs, as well as the costs of producing prototypes and conducting flight tests. Additionally, the MIG-144 incorporated a range of advanced technologies, including stealth features, 
advanced avionics and weapon systems, and advanced engines, which would have increased the overall cost of the program. Despite the cancellation of the MIG-144 program, development continued, and the first test flight of the aircraft took place on February 29, 2000, with two confirmed test flights in 2001. The MIG-144 was designed to be a highly maneuverable aircraft, with advanced agility and handling characteristics. Its maneuverability was one of its key design goals, and it was intended to be able to outmaneuver other aircraft in dogfight situations. The MIG-144's maneuverability was achieved through a combination of factors. In addition to its delta wing design and thrust vectoring engines, the aircraft was also equipped with advanced fly-by-wire controls, which allowed for precise and responsive handling. The aircraft was also designed to have a high thrust-to-weight ratio, which allowed it to accelerate and climb quickly. The MIG-144 was designed to be powered by two afterburning turbofan engines, which were designated as the Product 33 engines. These engines were developed by the Klimov Design Bureau and were intended to provide the MIG-144 with high levels of performance. The Product 33 engines were designed to have a thrust output of around 19,000 pounds each, which would give the MIG-144 a total thrust output of approximately 38,000 pounds. One of the unique features of the Product 33 engines was their thrust vectoring capability. The engines were designed to be able to swivel their exhaust nozzles, which would allow the aircraft to control its direction of thrust and achieve very high levels of maneuverability. This would give the MIG-144 a significant advantage in air-to-air -air combat situations. Despite the cancellation of the MIG-144 program, the aircraft remains a testament to the advanced technological capabilities of the Russian aerospace industry. The technologies developed for the MIG-144 have been incorporated into other Russian fighter jets, such as the Su-57, which is currently in development. Overall, the MIG-144 was an impressive and highly advanced fighter jet, featuring a range of cutting-edge technologies and capabilities. Although it never entered production, the aircraft's legacy lives on through its impact on future aircraft designs and its contribution to the development of the Russian aerospace industry. And that's all the content for today. What do you think about this story? Please leave your thoughts in the video comments. Thank you for watching and supporting the channel. If you enjoyed it, please give it a like, subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to turn on the notification bell. Now, goodbye, and see you again soon.